Hi, we're in the uh, magazine interior uh, assignment, and we are now on um, step 26, where we start inserting the articles. So um, here I am on page two, and I'm going to use um, uh, in InDesign. So I'm going to use um, my file place or Control D to go grab my articles. So this first article I'm going to get is titled, titled um, Kimonos and Video Games. So yes, you can place pictures, but you can also place um, Word files or, or text files. So you can see my cursor is loaded with text ready to place it in. And I'm going to click and drag. There's my text. Um, what I think I'm going to do is uh, go grab this text here. I'm going to make, I'm going to make a um, a new uh, paragraph style. I'm going to call this um, like body type. Now I may have to edit that later, but that that'll that'll help, I think. Okay, so here's uh, here's my new article I just placed in. I think it comes over placed in like yeah Times New Roman, which obviously is not what I want. But now I've changed it. It's um, and you, <laughs> you can see it's a repeating type. <laughs> you see these lines running through it. That's okay. Um, now it's that Archer Light, which I just defined earlier um, using the type or the sorry the paragraph styles. And <clears throat> um, with that box selected, um, I'm going to go up to Layout and, uh, no, sorry, to Object and then go to Text Frame Options. What that will bring up, or Control, uh, Command or Control B, is that will allow me to change my columns. And I'm going to change it to three columns. And this up a bit so oops can't do that. So now it's um, filling up those three columns and decently. I'll leave it okay. And here's my title and, um, and uh, author line. So because I have so much room I might take that room and move my story down a bit. Now I've copied the title out, and I'm going to make a new text box up here. And place that. Um, so here's my kimonos and video games um, title, and it should not have a period after it. I'm going to maybe try an ampersand here. And... Um, I'm going to take that Susan Greeley and just move her over to the right. Might change um, just some of these so they look a little bit, a little better. Kimonos, video games. I chose medium last time, so I'll just stick to that. And um, just kind of make these two together as a unit. And then we might want to just change the, the color of this. Um, change her fill to maybe deep red. Okay. Maybe that's okay. Not wonderful. That's fine. Okay. So now we're going to place um, our stories on the right hand page on page three. Um, I'm going to do Control D and go get uh, Thoughts on Travel. And, hmm, guess not. Let me try that again. Place Thoughts on Travel. Oops. Oh, I know what I did. <laughs> I had this text highlighted, or this box highlighted, and it placed the story in here. So I'm going to click away, making sure nothing is is placed and there's there's my text you can so I'm ready to place that in um, instead of um, one column control B I'm going to change that to four and 
what I may do on this one is just because this is um, just placeholder type is uh, just paste some more type in there and uh, now I'm gonna add in the title here it is right here I'm gonna cut that out and we'll just change that to to the archer again or the the medium and reduce that a bit just to make sure it's kind of a sub article and then uh, we'll do the same thing oh you know what I should do is change this type to our body type there we go and choose right click and choose apply body and then clear overrides okay so now everything is that body type and I'm going to do the same thing again make sure everything is deselected control D um, my next one's top 10 and I'm going to place that in right about here um, I'm going to uh, change all of this to my body type and then with a control B we'll make four columns out of that doesn't look great but that's the way the instructions say so I'm fine with that and then um, I'm going to duplicate this down cut that and paste this in and then to make the same type I'm going to use my eyedropper and just grab that style from up here now um, I may be I might change this to a, a more of a title case so it looks similar Okay, then um, lastly, I think I might just jump to step 34, which is placing text on the back cover. And um, we want to put uh, a big manga nation across the back. So I'll get a type uh, and drop box. We're going to key in manga nation. And these should be large. Manga nation is the, the largest. It's the one that goes across the entire... Again, change this to Archer. I'll go bold this time. Okay. Um, I'll rotate this. And I don't care if it goes off the page. I'm fine with that. In fact, that might even be somewhat desirable. Um, the manga, I'm going to do it right and justify it. Um, actually, let me do a center and then I'll just space it over. I know that's not like technically the best, but I'm just running with it right now. Um, okay, so and I'll put a stroke on it um, of white. No, I move that up a little bit. And then lastly, um, I'm going to put a two column bit of type under his foot here. Um, we'll do type fill with placeholder text and I'm going to choose that body style and then uh, let's grab that control B two column and I might fill the rest of that with um, placeholder text great period that and then um, lastly I'm going to put a um, a pull quote in here and my pull quote is going to be um, Japanese culture is full of old and new so I'm going to draw my text box Um, I'm going to change that once again to Archer. You can use whatever is available to you. I'll probably change that to a 
I'm going to get a black this time. Keep it black. And I'm going to increase it so it yeah, that looks great. I'm going to put that um, in the middle of my type. And then I'm going to use a uh, text wrap. So I have this selected. I'm going to go up to Window, and then um, to Type and Tools, and oh no, I'm sorry, Window, and then to Text Wrap. Here's my Text Wrap um, palette, and I'm going to choose this one right here, Wrap Around a Bounding Box. So then, and then I can adjust this bounding box to whatever I want. Um, in fact, if I have that this box selected, I'm going to choose B, and then I'm going to center the type. Um, instead of top align, I might just do center. So what that does, that equally spaces out the top and bottom. And text wrap, you can, we're done with you. And there we go. I think we're done here. Um, the last little bit is I'm going to export this as a PDF. And to do that, I'm going to go choose File export and um, let's see I'm just gonna place oops I'm gonna place this in um, the correct folder and um, I'm gonna change it from a JPEG to a, a PDF print and we'll call this um, magazine interior um, I'm going to click Save, and uh, I'm going to make sure all is selected in my um, under my pages, and I'm going to make sure Spreads is selected, so pages two and three stay together. And then I'll choose Export. And notice I do get a warning that says, hey, there's overset text on pages two and three. Um, let me show you what that is. Um, so what that is, is this little box right here. It means if we were doing a real article that had actual text in it instead of repeated text, that would be a big issue because it would mean part of your, part of your article is not showing up. Um, for us, I'm just going to extend it because I have room to. Now notice because I've given it um, room that that overflow box is, um, is gone now. So I can do that export again, and here I am in my the right folder. I'm going to click save, and I've uh, the uh, the PDF from my previous um, export um, saved in there, and all and spread saved because I had that. Um, um, I used that last time. And so notice that um, the overflow is, is gone because we corrected that. And that's it. So I would save this file in case you need to go back and change it. And then post your PDF to um, Portfolium and the link, once again, to Blackboard. That concludes the magazine interior.